Nookazon.com, the Animal Crossing version of Amazon. This is a site where anybody who plays Animal Crossing New Horizons can go and can this Mario advert please stop? <laughs> trade items. Am I your slave? Yes. So if there's a certain item that you haven't got yet and you just want it, like right now, like say the neon diner sign hasn't been stocked in your nook's cranny yet, then nookazon.com is the perfect place to go and get it. It's a world where you're surrounded by normal traders and scammers alike, and you won't know if you're dealing with a scammer until you actually get yourself scammed. What helps to minimise this risk is by reading the reviews of somebody before going out of your way to trade from them. And ideally, you would want to trade with somebody who has a 5 star rating. But hey, call me a risk taker because I venture to do the exact opposite. I search countless products by the user review option, meaning you'll get the best sellers on top and the not so good ones at the bottom, because my aim was to find the worst sellers on the entire site. Will I catch a scammer this time? Our first suspect, people underscore good, 654. Apparently, she is very sweet and patient and she likes old of your island so much. Oh, all of our... Okay, not the best English, that's okay, no problem. Today, I'm trading from this person a mum's plushie. Not mum, mom. I'm making this too dramatic, I swear. <laughs> yeah, uh, a mum's plushie for the cheap price of 200,000 bells. Some of the reviews state as follows. This person makes new accounts when they get caught scamming. They do not bring the correct items and take your items and leaves you a bad review anyway. Beware. Gave me two right items, but then didn't have the item they offered me. Extremely upset. Would definitely not trade. They traded and got the trade wrong. I asked for a retrade if they couldn't do the normal trade I wanted, but instead they ignored my offer and said sorry, which was polite. But I am not very happy that you didn't retrade with me and gave me the wrong items. They were nice enough to offer more for not having the items I wanted. They made a new account because they had bad reviews. Do not interact with this person. They are a scammer. Even look at their old accounts. Diego the best underscore ace. Very intense stuff. Let's see if the reviews hold up. There are still quite a few 5 star reviews mixed in here as well. Hence why this user has four stars overall. So, let's see if they can redeem themselves. Okay, so I am about to spend 200,000 bells on a plushie that I already have. <laughs> if I don't catch a scammer, that means a part three needs to be made. And, um, I don't think I'll be able to afford that. <coughs> They're on their way. Will my 200,000 be worth it? I mean, it won't either way, to be honest. I've already got the item. Okay. Still got the Halloween stuff on. Fair enough. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I didn't know what to expect from the reviews since some of them were five star, some of them were one star. But I was fully prepared to be getting scammed out of 200k. But the trade was going quite normally, as per usual. I guess I was in shock. I don't know. I was in shock that they weren't a scammer. It's just a normal trade. Well, this stinks. Well then. I didn't get scammed. <laughs> All I want to do is catch a scam on camera. All their items on all their listings are highly overpriced. I wouldn't consider that getting scammed though. Maybe a bit ripped off, but not a scam. Unless anybody wants a plushie. Um, looks like mine's gonna have a friend. <laughs> That's kind of cute though. <laughs> Our next suspect is called Oshi. <laughs> oh, 
coming across this user, they only had one star review to their name, four to be exact, took 70 Nookmile tickets from me and didn't even have Victoria in boxes. Send back my tickets or give me Victoria and I'll update my review. But until then, you've been reported for being a scammer. Buyer beware, scammer. Picks Nookmile tickets and scams you. Do not trade with this person. Better make a new scammer profile, scammer. <laughs> Today, from this user, I am buying 100,000 bells and 10 Nickmar tickets worth of a single golden seat. I finally got somebody. Oof, okay. This person has a one star review. So, back to this again. Last time this happens, um. But then, the clouds parted and gave me a ray of sunshine for a second person had contacted me back. And this time, this was the worst seller I had seen because they only had one star to their name. Do you want to look around? There was literally nothing wrong with this trade. So all the dialogue after we traded, I was very, very on edge until... <laughs> Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Nothing much came out of it. They're on my friends list. I've not played with them since. You can see my bank balance. In Nukadon standards, I am very poor. For the first time, somebody actually wants me to come to their island. So... Not sure... What to make of that. Here we go, here we go. All of these reviews say scam. So... Let's see. This is a lot. I think one of the reasons why I didn't get scammed by that person in the last video, I only gave them like a hundred, a thousand bells. This is a lot of money right here. So I arrived at the island. Now I am genuinely convinced that I am going to get scammed. They didn't want to come to my island, so I wasn't more worried about them trying to take stuff from my island. If it's money and Nookmar tickets they're after, they can easily just no way take it and then quit the session. But the madman actually went through with it. They actually did it. They actually did a normal trade. I thought they were going to say something that wasn't, thank you very much. I thought they were gonna say something scammery, scammer-esque. But no, they just said thank you, and I was on my way. Just pure confusion. <laughs> oh my god. And she gave me a five star review. Ooh. Where am I putting this anyway? <laughs> we just cocked ourselves a golden seat, boys and girls, peoples. You earned equality. I genuinely thought I was gonna get scammed. I genuinely thought. It doesn't, even, it doesn't go with my island. Ah. That's actually very nice. Our last suspect for this video, Jean Louise. <laughs> Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> this user has three stars to their name, one five star review, and one one star review. Was dishonest and didn't provide the payments agreed. You can still fix it, and I'll change my review. And the five star didn't even say anything, they just. Verified sale, stone fence DIY recipe. Their bio reads, Faithful villager at your service. If you're having any trouble with any of my stuff, please contact me. <laughs> Today, I am spending 100,000 bells on a Luna's bed. Hello, we have a special guest. I was looking for traders because I assumed no one was going to contact me back. But then someone did. I'm paying 150,000 for a bed. Uh, I need to get more money if I'm gonna do a part three. If you're wondering why I have a hat on, it's because I don't want bird poop in my hair. I've not experienced that, and frankly, I kinda don't wanna experience that. The code has been sent. Let's see what comes out of it. Marshall, are you okay? You're right there. I can't see what's happening. But I hit Whoa! While we wait, you're gonna poo. You just pooed on my leg. That's okay. That's all I need. Okay. Didn't expect to have a special guest today, but 
you know? Life has unexpected events. <laughs> he moved, he's moving my character. So they're here, they're coming. Um, I'm giving them 150,000 for a bed that I already own. I have made a severe loss this episode. Blue hair. That's kind of fashionable, you know? Honestly, I'm really not expecting much. From the DMs, he does seem quite new at training. Oh, Hey, would you mind giving me <laughs> Gibby? Gibby. <A> <laughs> I ended up giving him a tour. He ended up giving me a Nook Mail ticket as well in the end because, I don't know, he liked my island just that much. Three out of three people, none of them were scammers. So my plans were foiled again for this episode, but I hope it was still enjoyable for you because it was quite enjoyable for me despite making a massive loss. I think I spent like nearly 500k bells this episode. So a part three will be made. Stay safe in your Animal Crossing trading endeavors as well as staying safe in general. And moral of the story, um, I, I, I don't know what the moral is. These guys were meant to scam me.